Hey YouTube, so this is a really quick impromptu video and it's just purely for encouragement. So I had a lot of people reach out to me lately and say, is this ever going to end? Is this ever going to get better for me? And I want to tell you that for me, it has and it has gotten so much better and I could just cry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get emotional because I was at a coffee shop today and I just couldn't believe how good I felt. And same with yesterday. I was like, I feel so good this is how life is supposed to feel so i was at the coffee shop today and uh just having a clear head as if you've been following me for a while you'll know that i had the most extreme repeating looping intrusive thoughts i think ever possible like extremely bad 24 7 from the moment i woke up to the moment i went to sleep evil demonic torturous thoughts that would not stop repeating in my head for over three years and I just was in that coffee shop and I felt happy, content, relaxed. I had a clear head and I'm like, the things that you can feel on the other side of this, life will never be the same for you. I'm telling you, like I, I went on these drugs for situational depression when I got laid off. I never had mental health problems other than anxiety, some anxiety and some mild OCD that had been under control for years before I started these drugs. And so not only do I feel similar to how I felt before I took the drugs, but better because I have such an appreciation for life now. And I'm not 100% healed, but I would say like I'm a good 70%. Um, and I've had setbacks and, but they don't seem to last very long anymore. And I can bounce right back and just going out for a cup of coffee, going into a coffee shop and just being present and just being like, this is how life is supposed to feel. This is what full range of emotions, because even when I was on the drug, sorry, I was dead inside. Like I had no emotions. I was unable to cry. The only emotion I ever really felt was like rage or complete numbness. Um, and the longer I took them, the worse that got, like the anhedonia and just the irritability. And I was having, you know, the S word thoughts and just things that I'm not really experiencing anymore. And yes, I'll get some intrusive thoughts during the day, but there will be hours that I'll go and I just won't be thinking of anything. I'll have a clear head. I'll be able to focus on things in life that are real and that matter. Like, I'm not saying that what you're going through is not real, completely the opposite. But I mean like real everyday stuff. Like I didn't have any space in my head to think about normal real things for so long because it was just intrusive thought after intrusive thought after intrusive thought and just the most insane torture and just like the akathisia just pulsating through my body and just the inability to sit down, the inability to relax, the inability to sleep. Like I can sleep now for nine, 10 hours. I can go an entire day and feel no anxiety. I can, I still will get kind of waves of akathisia, but it's totally manageable. The burning and the electricity and the dystonic feelings so mild now and yeah if i overdo it i will get an increase in symptoms and i've still got i'd say a 20 to 30 percent left of healing to go but i'm fully functional i'm slowly starting to work again after being on disability for almost two years um it has been a life-changing traumatic experience but i'm telling you and i know you've probably seen this in other success stories when you come through this and come out the other side life is just amazing like just you, you I feel like you never take anything for granted again after this just the most simple things like being able to l relax and watch tv read a book listen to music um socialize spend time with people um just do things that you can't do when you're in such a severely overstimulated state sorry I have my camera at a really bad angle <laughs> I'm sorry it was very impromptu and I just moved and everything's chaotic but um, I just want to encourage you to keep going. And I know everybody's path is different through this. Like everybody's recovery timeline looks different, is a different length of time. Some people find help in alternative treatments. Some people find help in doing nothing at all. Some people find help in reinstating. And for me, the thing has just been to stay off everything and be very, very gentle with my nervous system. I mean, within reason. I have a, a young baby here. Um, and just... Being very mindful of you know what I eat and what I ingest and what I drink and just knowing and trusting that other people have made it through the other side and I will too and after going through a disastrous low dose reinstatement that resulted in akathisia um, I just would never go back down that road so um, I'm almost I'm, I'm 24 and a half months off everything and uh, feeling so much better so keep going I just want to encourage you